Good morning, everybody. Well, I want to cover something today on MPP Solar. Um, I ran into something last night that it alarmed me at first, and I thought, man, what is going on here? Do I have a bad unit now? I was really kind of freaking out about it. And I went to the old Google, and uh, I found nothing, just nothing out there on it. And I said, man, I might have to contact the manufacturer and see what's going on with this thing. But I kept on doing my due diligence. And sure enough, um, there's an added line in the manual that covers this one specific thing. And why they put it as a warning, I don't know. And made it flash and go crazy. But in case you ever see this, just take a deep breath. It's okay, and let me show you what's going on. Okay, so here we are. Now I know the first thing you're gonna see is that and flashing. We're gonna come back to that one in just a second. So here we are, we're at 23.5 with the sun just coming up. Uh, we're at 3% load, and you know, that's with, see my TV's going. I got lots going here. You know, we have a full-size refrigerator. laptops on we've done heated up a um, pot of water with one of these kettles poured it up in a thermos to have warm water warm water for this morning so security cameras Wi-Fi you know all these things all right so that's pretty good you know we ran fan all night over us and so you know that's a um, electric motor that's going all night and all and we still have 23.5 on the battery, so I think it's still pretty good. But now, let's go over here to this little creature right here flashing. See that? It looks like it says E9 and with a little warning triangle right there. Now, if you go right underneath that little warning, you can see where there's something wrote there, but it's kind of hard to focus what it is if we can focus maybe we can't focus well anyway there's another word that comes up right underneath there now if that word came up that says error but it does not say error it just has the warning only going when I went to the manual that came with it it didn't have anything for this underneath the warning codes or the error code either one and I'm like, what in the world? I started, you know, searching the internet. I couldn't find anything. I'm like, what is this? What is this? What is this? And um, kind of freaking out because this is our electricity. Of course, I have a backup one right here above it. And man, I was already checking the parameters on this thing to make sure they're duplicated with the one below and where I could switch to it. And that's the nice thing about having a backup one sitting right here is worst case we could just switch right over to it and boom we'd have instant power again so backup plan always right here but I still I was freaked out over this thing and I'm like what in the world's going on I just keep searching the internet I'm reading forums I'm translating stuff from other countries but it's all dealing with an error code that would say O9 and this says E9 and the O9 was a, a soft start on the bus or whatever and I'm like well that's not it and I have power it's still making electricity it's all still working fine I couldn't see anything wrong with any of it but here it is given this well I'll tell you what I found out turns out that that's not actually E9. MPP Solar's 9 has a line at the bottom. So you would have your 9, you know, and with a little line at the bottom. That is representing a Q, EQ. All right, that is EQ. That is meaning that the batteries are in equalizing state. So this has a um, mode that this thing trips into to, to where, you know, it keeps that all from building up and building up scale on your plates, on your batteries, right? 
So it's, it's actually a, a mode, an algorithm they put into place for this thing to go through a descaling, if you just want to call it like that, like descale. For instance, like over here on my coffee maker, it has a mode it goes into called descale, you know, like getting all the stuff off the heating element. All right, well, it's similar, similar. And this is supposed to make your batteries last longer, you get a better life out of your batteries. Why they didn't put that in the book that comes with it, I don't know. Why did you have to make it as a warning sign flashing and you cannot clear it off the screen? You cannot clear it. You can reboot the unit. I tried that, you know, turned off the breaker to the batteries, turned off the power from the PV, powered down the unit, started it back up, you know, flip the battery breaker, breakers back on turn the unit on, boot it up, turn the PV back on, boom, it's still there. I'm like, you know what? I better make a plan, because didn't know what it was. And uh, started getting my other unit ready up here, turned it on, and all of a sudden, that unit, which is not even connected to everything, hadn't even been on, it too is flashing the same thing. EQ and it hasn't been doing that either because I do occasionally turn it on I'm like what the heck because this unit hadn't even been on Well, it's because these both came out and I bought them the same day and um, I hooked them both here up so their little internal clock started running and This thing has a schedule you can set on there. So say like it's gonna do that every 30 days, okay, and uh so they both on the same day now were ready to do their EQ, <laughs> their equalizing. And uh, I learned that later because I was like, man, how is the unit that hadn't even been up there on also in this warning state? What's going on? The only thing they had in common was they were both hooked to the same battery bank and I'm thinking, Man, is something wrong with my batteries? Is something happening with them? Do I have a battery shorting out? Or is there a cell shorting out? Come on, MPP seller, give me some information. All right. Then, after a long little search and just kind of sitting depressed and worried, and are we going to lose our power here? You know, it's things you worry about when you're an off gridder, right? You know, when you're trying to be independent of that power company. You don't have the power company to call up and say, hey, Mr. Lineman, you know, can you come out? A tree fell on my line and broke it or my transformer tripped or something. When you are producing your own power for an off-grid, you are that power company. And there's no one to call or deal with but the manufacturer you bought it from. And come on, man, you know, they're not going to be sending a lineman out to you, right? And, uh... It's going to be email and ship it to us, and if we can't fix it, buy another one, you know. And that's why I have a backup unit. And uh, I'm like, man, oh man, oh man. So that was really freaking out when both of them do it. I'm like, oh man, my backup unit's crazy too. All right, so that's what it is. And then I went back to downloading manuals and online. And, um, uh, my particular model, my model here, um, which is a PIP 4024 MSP, okay? Mine is a PIP 40, which means 4,000 watt, 24, meaning it's 24 volts DC, and it's a MSP. Well, the manual they sent with mine did not cover my particular model number. It covered one for um, like 3,000 watts and like 2.5 or something like that, but it didn't cover my 4,000 watts. It, it wasn't in that manual. My number wasn't in that manual. And I went online and I was trying to find one on their website and they were kind of generic. And uh, once again, skipping my model well, I just kept on checking, 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 and uh, sure enough, I opened up another manual 
to a different model unit and there inside that manual the little PDF file that I downloaded there it was there it was let me show you guys so, sorry I'm gonna be showing the laptop screen and we know how when you're recording a screen how it gets all crazy looking but I want to show you here fault reference code right and um, what I looked up is a PIP HSP model and mine is an MSP but here it was here it was and the manual that I looked it up for was a 2024 2000 watt 24 volt and I'll be darned inside of that manual but not the one that came with mine there it was so first I'm gonna start out fault reference codes and you see they're all start with a 0, 0, 06, 07, 08, 09 and that 09 was bus soft start failed but you see that doesn't look like my 9 see how it has the line underneath because it wasn't a nine turned out it is supposed to represent a Q so uh, I knew that wasn't it I said no nah, that ain't it plus the people that were having that problem didn't have any voltage coming out they had lost their AC voltage so I kept looking and I went down that list and still nothing on this one then I went to warning indicators because remember I only have a warning indicator I don't have the air lit up underneath it so here they are and they all start with a zero as well zero one zero three all that they don't start with an e in front of it so here i am reading those and i'm not feeling very confident about this and you see how all of this is wrote down through here with the o and all and then all of a sudden all of a sudden i'm going down through here and look what i found boom done different than all the rest of it and all there it is e9 e9 and you can tell it looks like this was an afterthought of putting this in here battery equalization e9 but that's not a nine that is a q e q battery equalization e q so there you go if you ever get that don't freak out and then what happens when you scroll this manual on down what's going to pull up next the whole section on battery equalization been really nice if they would have put this in my manual so here we are um, here's all about it right here and you see it reverses the buildup of negative chemical effects like stratification a condition where uh, acid concentration is greater at the bottom of the battery than the top and it says equalization also helps remove sulfate crystals that might have built up on the plates if left unchecked this condition called sulf how, uh, sulfation will reduce the overall capacity of the battery Therefore, it's recommended to equalize the battery periodically. All right, so there you have it right there. And then it says to go in there and apply this function. You must enable it in the LCD setting 33 first. Um, then you may apply this function on the device either by one of the following methods. Uh, setting the interval in program 37 and active immediately in 39. So it says to, to turn it on in 33, 32, 33, and it's enabled. So you'd have enabled and disabled. And then it says to go to 37. And see, that's for every 30 days right there. And you can set how often you want it to do it. And okay, and we do. And we also have the 39 right there. So, uh, so there you have it. all right let me get this out of that and there you have it now why won't it go away i'll tell you why now here's the reason it won't yet go away so when this mode's enabled it needs some really good power coming in from the solar panels because it needs to 
bring that battery bank all the way up to float level and uh, do its little processing it's got to do it's got a little wave it's going to do of like your bulk power your absorption your float your equalizer your float and it's going to go through a little series there for doing it's kind of descaling in a way if you want to call it like that and um, this thing tripped right before right before dark so there's no abundant solar power coming in anymore you know and so therefore it can't do its processing because it cannot get the energy it needs from the sun in order to finish this little process on here that it is set to do every 30 days therefore that little code's gonna sit there flashing all night all this morning until the battery's about fully charged until it's nice and good strong sun pouring down on it and it has the ample power and the full float to go through its process so i think maybe they're i think they should have a clock feature in this thing i do i think they should have a clock feature and with the clock feature you can set the time so this unit knows what time schedule that your unit's running on. If you're going to have an equalization thing that needs to have good, strong uh, solar when it goes through this process, well, then it needs to know what time it is. Is it morning? Is it night? It needs a time reference. Come on. A computer clock is the most basic thing there is. So I feel that it needs a clock feature in it. And in that clock feature, you need to set the time for this to start when you normally hit your peak power or it should also maybe just know like a rhythm of what time you normally hit your peak power and know that it needs to start that during that time frame not just willy-nilly random out there which happened to be an evening time as it was turning dark and of course now it's trying to do this at night time with no solar coming in so nevertheless guys if you get this don't freak out um it it's not the end of the world i kind of freaked out i'm not gonna lie i kind of freaked out can't blame me you probably would too but that's e9 standing for or i'm sorry but that's eq standing for equalization and there you have it um shame on MPP solar a little bit on that one of being just so random out there with their manuals Not providing me a proper one. That's just for my unit. I would really appreciate that MPP solar I know you got a lot of models out there But you don't even have one that directly shows my unit and uh, I guess that's the way it is but got it figured out and um, hopefully this video will help you so you don't panic also and think that there's a fault because actually it's a pretty nice feature and I appreciate them putting that feature in there.